Hey, how's it going everyone? This is a follow-up video to my Sombrio initial video I made. Um, obviously not the same Sombrio that I got initially. The drivetrain, the Advent X from Microshift 10 speed. Wasn't a big fan. It would skip a lot and I was dropping uh, a lot of shifting I felt so I got a Dior drivetrain, except for the cassette, obviously, because I don't have micro spline, so this is a sun race, but so I don't get the hyper glide. But pretty good overall, obviously. When you go from the really big cog in the back to this one, it takes a certain amount of revolution before it'll go down, so that's to be expected. So I changed that on the bike, it's good. Uh, So the Uding fork, surprisingly enough, very minimal adjustment. Rebound has only four settings. So for me, 185 pounds, I put it on the most rebound and it's really good. But if you put it on the slower rebounds, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it has this weird slurpy sound, which is super annoying. But performance wise for the price, very impressed with this Uding fork. Took some good drops with it and it held up, no bottoming out. Uh, also, what I did not change is the Rever brakes, which I really like, surprisingly. Super predictable. Um, the modulation is very progressive so you do not have much going on and then you can basically as much as you press is what you're going to get there is no surprises as opposed to the shimano where you're not braking and then you get all the braking i find that may be just older stuff i only have like the older shimano xt on this guy but i'm really surprised with these uh like them a lot so i left those guys uh, what else did I change? Oh, this is a KS dropper post. Really good, except for what came with it was that stupid, um, weird lever that you can have if you have shifters here. I don't have shifters, so I wanted just a thumb lever, so change that guy out. Loving the geometry. The slack is really good. I think it's 65 at the head tube. New to this whole new progressive geometry, so... 27 and a half, liking it. I've never had a 27 and a half. I've, I have that 29er over there. And that other Trek there was 26. So this is the happy medium. I think for my size, it's really good. Uh, yeah, and I put the old composite pedals back on. I had metal ones. And I really like the feel of these ones. I went back to the composite. I, I don't know, a little bit of flex maybe to them, but felt they're a lot better under my feet. But overall, Changed some things, but uh, geometry-wise, really enjoying this. Bringing me back to my young days of hardtails. So, for the price point that they're selling them at now, I'm pretty sure there are better options out there. Right now, the new ones that are coming out, the Shovel Two, I think, is going to be two thousand dollars. So, probably you could find something better for that price point. Oh, and also I'm not doing crazy stuff. So what I did do t as well is trade out the uh, CST BFTs, which are 2.6 for these Kenda Amrax that I had laying around. These are 2.4. So I'm saving weight wise because I have smaller tubes in these guys. I think 500 grams per tire. So a good kilogram for the both of them for what I do with it. Other tires were nice, but they were way overkill. So personally, if I were going to buy a Sombrio again, I'd probably get a three. But then again, you end up with the weird uh, one, 141, I want to say, in the back, which is quick release. And I didn't want to do with that. I like the through axles personally. And that's it. So 
Uh, my impressions overall, well, with what I did, I find it a lot better. Uh, cutting the handlebar too made it for my arm width way better. But uh, looks amazing. Initial ride, a bit clunky. Shifting with the micro shift, debatable, obviously. Maybe mine wasn't the best, but where it's at now, I'm really happy. So thanks for watching.